Good evening. Tis I, art thou, whiskey coach. Okay, what the hell are you talking about, you say? Well, tonight's review on Whiskey Coach, thank you very much for joining me again, is the fine folks at High West's Midwinter Night Dram. As a former English major, I appreciate the play on words uh, of the famous Shakespearean play Midsummer's Night Dream. Um, I think that these folks did an amazing job um, of telling a story. I love a story. I love this bottle. Um, they, 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 they explain the releases by uh, calling them a limited engagement, like a show. And then uh, act, this particular bottle is Act 5, Scene 4. Love that. Um, and I hate to read labels too much, but because of what I just told you about me enjoying um, a good story, a good label, I got to read this one for you guys. Again, as an English guy, I think this was so cool how they described this so artistically and so beautifully. Are you sure that we are awake? It seems to me that yet we sleep, we dream. Demetrius, a Midsummer Night's Dream, Act 4, Scene 1. Cool beginning, right? Then it gets into the whiskey. Greetings, good gents, good gentles, and, and ladies. As High West, we consider whiskey an indispensable part of making it through the long, cold winter. One taste of a Midsummer Night's, Midwinter Night's Dram, alongside a cozy fire, will surely transport you to a dreamlike state. I like that. This limited-release whiskey is a sumptuous marriage of Rendezvous Rye that they create uh, in French oak port barrels. The rye forms a beautiful base of vanilla, caramel, cinnamon. The port barrels made from French oak enhances with notes of plum, dried fruits, and provides spice. For us, a mid-winter uh, night's dram tastes like your proper Christmas plum pudding with lovely mulling spices, dried fruits, and creme and guai. Sw and then another quote. Swift a shadow, short as a dream, brief as the lightning in the in the college night. Um, just beautiful. Um, love how they did this. Um, I don't want to keep going because there's, there's actually more, and we'll be here all night. But yeah, so so that's kind of the the 101 on the on this bottle. Um, first of all, I love High West bottle. They all have that kind of that horseshoe. Um, bottle shape. They all say high west distillery. They, they look very kind of uh, rugged and, 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 you know, old western, so to speak. And they all have this almost like this glazed, um, like in the glass, it almost like sparkles. I love, I love how they do that. High West. Let's talk about High West for a second. One of my favorite micro distilleries, um, you know, them and the new riffs of the world and the smooth amblers of the world. I mean, these are folks that almost are not, not even micro distillers anymore. To that end, they were actually purchased a year or two back by uh, Constellation Brands for $160 million. Um, less than 10 years after they came about, which is a nice little... Nice little profit, I'm sure, for those guys. So that was pretty cool. But everything is still out there in Utah if you want to visit and, and do the uh, the experience there. All the folks uh, remained employed and all that good stuff. So that's that's nice. Basically, they, they're hoping to grow the brand, create more, you know, with the financial support that they they got from Constellation. But they were purchased uh, in in the uh, in the um, in the in the uh, in the means to be as transparent as possible. Wanted to use a little cheat sheet here. I have I have two phones and was thinking about what this whiskey is. They tell you right, it's the Rendezvous Rye um, uh, finished in the, in the in the port barrels. But what is the Rendezvous Rye? You wonder. I love this about these guys. So often companies play the shell game, won't indulge you on on where the whiskey comes from. Uh, on, on stock that they're that they're buying sourced that they haven't made the you own know, distillate. Um, right on their website, they tell you exactly what this bourbon is, what this whiskey is, this rye whiskey, I should say. And what it is is the following: straight rye whiskey, 95% rye, 5% uh, barley malt from MGP, 
makes sense that 95.5 is MGP's trademark recipe. It also is 53% uh, rye, 37% corn, 10% uh, barley uh, malt from Barton. And then there's a third rye whiskey, which is an 80% rye, 10% corn, 10% barley from Barton. So I just think that's super cool that they just lay it out there for you like that. Barrel type right there, boom, aged in new charred white American oak, finished in French oak. I mean, it's just, I love that. I, I respect that and I, I, I tip my cap to you all at High West for, for being so transparent. Let's get into the whiskey itself. Um, I talked about the mash bill, I talked about the bottle, I talked about the engagement. This particular engagement is 98.6 proof. Off the top of my head, I'll be honest, I'm not sure if all the engagements are the exact same proof. I don't think they are, but I'm not 100% sure on that. As you can see, this one I have tasted before, um, and I'll, uh, I'll hold the, uh, my thoughts on this until we uh, taste this together, so to speak. So, uh, nice dark, um, almost maple syrup color to it right off the, uh, right off the bat. The nose is beautiful. It, it never, this one doesn't, I think because of the port finish, it never, it ne when I taste this, I never think rye whiskey. I just think beautiful, viscousy, syrupy, sweet. Uh, I, I, I don't think of, of rye. And it's all rye. It's three ryes. And, and one of them a 95% rye, the other one an 80% rye. So it's a high, high rye. But because of how they finished it, it gives so much more complexity and um, like I said, sweeter notes than you would expect. Plum, I mean, I know I, I'm probably being swayed by, by what I read. Dark fruits, definitely there. Cherries, definitely there. Uh, a little bit of the cinnamon red hots, like you, I guess you would get that more in a rye, the spice, I guess the spice, the hotness. Anise, like a black licorice. Really nice nose. I think every time you go into this, uh, you get a little bit, a little bit something different. Yeah, very, very nice. Let's taste it. Oh man! Wow. Really nice. You get that port for sure gets sweetness, you get the spice on the back end. It's almost two whiskeys. The front experience, fruity, whiny, viscousy. Um, the back, like I said, more of that red hot. You get no smoke, you get no oak, you get no char, you get no leather. But you do get a little spice, a nice spice. Real nice long finish. You know they talk about drinking this in front of a, a snowy window on a, on a warm, uh, a warm winter's night, and that's exactly, it's exactly right. They really hit the, the nail on the head with kind of descripting or describing the description, I should say. You know, kind of where they envision someone enjoying this and where it would be best. Also on the website, I really like this uh, pairing notes. They suggest fig newtons with this, which I thought was very funny, because of all things to. Uh, to pair with a, a whiskey, Fig Newtons is way down there on the list. But when you taste this, you're like, yeah, I can see that. I think that was thought that was interesting. This really lines up with what I like in a mouthfeel. Yeah, it's just a damn good whiskey. Price point wise. Gosh, I want to say this is in the $80 to $90 range. Uh, this one I've had for quite some time, so I don't even remember exactly where this sits, but it's definitely between $60 and $100, bucks, uh, regardless of where you are in the country. Um, and I think even at that price point, it's a, it's a very nice value. Um, I actually already sprayed this and want to preserve this spirit as long as I can without losing any of that complexity that you get. From a grade standpoint, I will give... Ooh, I had to get another taste. Midwinter Night Dram, Act 5, Scene 4, 8.2. Good whiskey. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Uh, we did a two a day here. It's late night, so sorry I was a little slow on the draw with uh, putting my thoughts into words for whatever reason. And it's only been about a half an ounce or uh, maybe an ounce of whiskey, so I can't even blame it on the booze. So 
Until next time, and as always, see you soon, and glasses up.